everything that we, we are doing is based on a reference point. So basically, when you use a weapon, everything is from your shoulder, the ceiling, his shoulder, floating hips, and my hips. Same thing here, shoulder, ceiling, uh, his shoulder, his hips, and my hips, from here, and then you go back up here. You should be able to do this left and right as well. But again, whenever you guys are doing something like this, let's take a look, yes? When he goes, again, everything is based on reference points, like just now, sector one, sector two, sector three. So when you guys are doing with the machete, yes, this one, you're going for sector two, yes? In, when you're doing empty hands, over here, please. When you're doing empty hands, you do sector two as well, because then you know your range. You know your range. If I just take sector one, see how far I am? Make a big difference? But when I take sector two, I know I'm behind him. So when I'm behind him, see? See how I take him off balance straight away? And this is without the foot trap. If I did the foot trap, move this a little bit, I don't know if it's falling there. So again, when I'm here, see that? See how the simple foot trap behind the heels? So when he's there, then you know where he is. All right, guys? And then again, if you take a look, same entry. See, now I use the other foot. All right, guys? So when you take the reference point, when you take the reference point, you've moved your shoulder there. See how you move the shoulder? If I just move the hand, just move the hand. No, don't, don't give me your shoulder, don't be stiff. If I just move the hand, I'm not controlling his posture. I need to make sure when I take sector two, I push it there. See how it breaks the posture? And that's it. Don't fall for me, I'll, I'll throw you. <laughs> so, see? When he doesn't fall for me, the fall is real. But when he falls for me, then it's even for me, it's not authentic. Yes? So again, when I'm here, see that. Grab me, grab me, grab me, grab me. Grab. grab. Thank you. See? All right? So again, see how when he grabs me, I give him the sector two. If I give him sector one, I give him sector one. If I give him sector three, see? I give him sector three, but again, see? See how he's done? All right? So again, take a look at this, same thing. Step back, there, see? Oh. <laughs> yes? If you take a look at all the hits that we're doing, we're trying to make sure that he stops breathing by winding him. So we don't just pump him in the head, uh, you know? Because you, when you break his ribs, again, you have to keep in mind, in the olden days, Bruneian, Marshall, Bruneian community, they live on the water villages. So when they fight, they fight on stilts or on small bridges. So after I break his ribs, or oh, when he can't breathe, then I push him off the, rib, off the bridge. So as he's struggling to breathe, he can't swim. Or when you see me do a foot trap, step back, yeah. As you break the ankle, you roll him off the bridge. So with, that, with a broken leg, he can't swim. Or a broken... So the thing is, every, everything you guys are doing here is to make sure that you, how do I say this? Uh, Brunan Kuntao, or Brunan Martial Arts, traditionally, the people who live on the water villages are nobilities. Businessmen, merchants, the farmers, they live on land because they farm. So that's why traditional silat, when you see them have a low stance and then their movement are low, this is through what we see in Brunei community before. Um, they're farmers. So they don't mind getting their... Uh, clothes dirty, they go on the ground, they grapple on the ground, they do locks on the ground. That is why the art is there, because of the environment. For Brunen Kuntao, we stay upright because if you're a merchant or a businessman, you cannot afford to have your clo clothes torn. So that's why, reference, see how far he is from me? I'm not even in front of him, but I can kick him in the front. But again, all of that is based on reference points, not on technique. See, take a look at this, yes? So, he's in front of me. I want to hit him on the back of the head. Oh. Yes? How does he know? See? It's because of my reference point. Yes? I didn't hit you, come on. Oh. Okay? Yeah? Now, he's in front of me. I'm going to kick him in the balls from the back. Here? It's a sweep. Ah, he's ready for it. He's ready for it. He's ready for it. Okay, I'm not going to kick your ball. Okay, I'm not going to kick your ball. Okay? So, look at this, yes? Yeah, I sweep. Don't fall if I throw you. All right. Yeah, step back. Step back. So you try to sweep you. He steps back, yes? Good. 
So, step back. See the good. See I'm here. See that? All right. So if he grabs me, that means he's mine. So the thing is, I have to feel the push and the pull from him. But again, traditional kuntao or traditional Brunei martial art is a hitting art. So that's why he goes towards me. Oh, there. See? How you, your posture and composure is still there because you do not want to untuck your dress. <laughs> yes? Because traditionally, they use the sarong, everything is tucked. So merchants and mobilities, they have rings, they have um, that's the, they call it the headdress, traditional silat. They do not want it to be torn. So if he can grab me, then my training is wrong. Yes? So I need to make sure he tries to grab me. I occupy his hand with pain. So take a look, yes? Give me reaction. See that? He sends it down. See? See? You see that? There is no point that he should put his palm on me unless I tell him, unless I give it to him. You take a look, yes? See? See? Tick. See? See that? But that, you see how I hit? It's from the machete. Everything comes from the movement of the machete. Yes? Make sense? So that's why he comes towards me. Sector. Tick. See? 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 Make sense? Imagine, why he jumped, this is a bridge. All I need to do is push him, he's up the bridge. So, on land, it looks like, yeah, it's a hop. But, visualize that we're fighting on the bridge. That is what I want. Does that make sense, guys, hopefully? Yeah. So that's why, look at this, yes? I'm here, give me a reaction. That. <laughs> and that's it. Same thing like this. Give me, give me a reaction, okay? Same thing. Step back. Uppercut. Then, and then. Yes? How like this, guys? Again, everything that you guys are doing here is to make sure that your positioning, he comes to attack, is there to push. So you're never in front of him. So he comes to me again, that's what? See? I'm here to push. So he's off. The bridge is like this. Yes, so I'm either here, like the pass, to push, or when you go inside with the, the shield, see, 